Hi everyone, my name is Nick, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare your recorded audio files so you can correctly set up your multi-track session in Adobe Audition to edit your podcast. First off, I want to thank Michael and Jason Scharf from the Austin Next podcast for allowing me to use their files so I can show you how you can edit and produce your podcast. So we're going to format all the files so they are in the exact same format. And that's very important before you begin your multi-track session. And you'll see why here in a moment. So just taking a quick look at this file, you can see down here that the sample type is 44,100 hertz. It's 24 bit and it's a stereo file. Now I wanna convert all of these audio files so they have the exact same audio format. Let me show you what I recommend. First, go to edit convert sample type or hit shift T. And now each audio file, I'm gonna make sure the sample rate is at 44,100 Hertz. It's a mono file and it has a bit depth of 16 bits. So I'm gonna hit okay for this file. And now you can see that it is now a mono file and it's 44,100 and it's now 16 bit. So now go ahead and save and name this file. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this to all the other files. Great, now all these audio files are in the exact same format. The second step after this is to apply all of your dynamic processing, your equalization, your noise reduction, your de-essers, and we wanna to try to get each file to negative 20 LUFS. Let me show you an example of what the loudness is on this file. To see the loudness, simply go to window, click amplitude statistics, and then hit scan. And it's scanning, analyzing statistics. Okay, you can see the loudness is around negative 45 LUFS. Now, I have a lot of work to get this up to negative 20 LUFS. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring each file up to negative 20 LUFS. Alrighty, see you in a second. Now, as I'm going along and adjusting all the dynamics, I'm always checking to see where I'm at loudness wise. So I'm almost there. Here's a quick tip, uh, rename your file as process so you always have a backup of the unprocessed file. All right, let's continue. Okay, great. Now that each audio file is around negative 20 LUFS, it is now time to bring those audio files into your multi-track session to begin editing your podcast. To start a new multi-track session, just simply press multi-track and then you'll have these options. And the reason I made all the audio formats the same format is because now once I import the audio into the new multi-track session, I'm not gonna have any issues. And so let's set up our multi-track session with a sample rate of 44,100 hertz. We have a bit depth of 16 bits. And the mix bus is going to be a stereo format because I want the final podcast file to be in a stereo format. So go ahead, name your session, save it in a location that makes sense to you, and then click OK. And now you will have a blank multi-track session that you can easily just drag and drop your audio files into. You can see the files aren't lined up for me, so I have to go through and line them up. 
so I can begin editing the podcast. Perfect. Now that all the audio files are aligned, all I have to go through is add the intro music, the intro voiceover, the outro music, the outro voiceover, any spots, commercials, sound effects, anything else they want me to add in this podcast. That's my son, Dominic. And to make editing even easier, I'll make a session template so it will already have the voiceover, intro, and music ready to go. So let me show you what I do for their podcast real quick. Here, I just simply go to template, I click Austin Next Podcast, and I hit OK. And now I have the intro music, the intro voiceover, and I have the outro music and the outro voiceover ready to go. So I can just edit, bounce it down, master it, and then publish it. So it's that easy to begin editing your podcast. First, you got to format all of your audio files into the same format. Then you open up your multi-track session, you import your files into the, your multi-track session, and then you edit, add all your music and voiceovers, and you'll be ready to go. If you would like some more quick tutorials on podcast editing and production, make sure you like and subscribe to the NCC Audio YouTube channel. Alrighty, everyone. Peace out. Happy podcasting. <laughs>